Wisconsin EMS. What do we do with the children of children that have died? Brothers, sisters. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this situation where they go, why don't you go in your other room and play? Or they separate. That child has lost not only a brother or sister to that day, what have they lost? Their parents. Their parents are wrecks. The parents are destroyed. Kids can mourn. If they can love, they can mourn. And that's another thing we try to protect them from. I don't get it. The command says, who wants to take care of the children? How many hands do you think went up? I drew the short straw. I had three kids. Okay? And the interesting thing was that I had 11 year olds, and I knew at that point I could discuss rituals, and, and this person understood that their parent was dead, right? And, but as you got to the younger children, okay, one was seven, I had to let them know that it was okay to feel sad and upset. And the, the funny one, there was a four year old, and I, said, do you, I just said, Do you know what's going on right now? He says, yes, a bomb blew my daddy's head off. That's stupid. Okay? And he said, it's my fault. And I said, why is it your fault, son? And he goes, because I didn't clean my room this morning. People, even adults, associate that when someone they love died, it must be because I did something wrong. Isn't that true? It's my fault. So people take on blame. Even when people die and they have nothing to do with it. And kids are no different. And so, I had explained to him, no, it wasn't your fault, it was not your fault. Your voice for EMS.